I go and I see there is a 400 person line with two Air Canada workers. There's a million canceled flights, everyone's just panicking. So I waited in that line about six hours. That was former hockey player turned podcaster Ryan Whitney voicing his concerns about long wait times he had to experience here at Pearson Airport. As you can see today, it's a lot quieter than what we've seen over the past few weeks. It's prompted many people to call out Pearson, including Mayor John Tory, who had this to say. Well, I will just say that uh, the situation at the Toronto airport is unacceptable. As air travel continues to increase with COVID-19 restrictions loosening, there have been some serious issues as Pearson Airport tries to adjust to the demand. I'm not wanting to engage in all this finger pointing that goes on. We spend far too much time sometimes in politics pointing fingers. The point is we should all be sitting at the table together to resolve the issues at the airport and they should be resolved in a speedy fashion. A spokesperson for the Greater Toronto Airports Authority that operates Pearson says the feds have been helping but more needs to be done ahead of the summer travel season. They went on to say this in a statement. Data from the week of May 23rd to the 29th shows that more more than 129,000 passengers were affected by metering and holding, which is an increase of 13,000 passengers from the previous week. This represents almost 53% of total international arriving passengers. So now I'm on a 10 a.m., but there's nobody really around the gate. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so in shock at this place. It is the biggest disgrace known to man. Whitney did not mince words when it came to his experience at Pearson. The Canadian Air Transport Security Authority, which has come under fire for security delays due to lack of staffing, say that Whitney's issues with flights being cancelled and rebooked is on the air carrier and not the CATSA. They also told City News that it is working with partners to improve service levels, but again, asking passengers to arrive early for their flights and be prepared for security screenings. At Pearson Airport, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.